right, all right, all right. So, this is a how to. And today, we're going to show how to drill to drill and tap a hole. So this is a carburetor bowl off of a carburetor. And the original thing down here broke out. It was just like a plunger and it had a spring and you pushed it and that let the gas out. And that started leaking. So I cut that out and now I'm just left with a hole. So I need to put a screw in that hole. There's no threads there, so I'm going to drill and tap that hole for this screw. So I got a new screw here. I've already, this is my tap and die set that I got. And uh, the first thing I did was there's a gauge in here and uh, you find the one that fits the threads As you can see that's not it definitely not it but uh, it ended up being a 0 0.8 was the thread pitch and uh, you just you got a whole bunch of these and uh, you just Keep going through them until you find the one that fits yours. And this one happened to be right here. The exact one I need right there. 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Don't know if you can see that or not, but. So, got that measured. And now. I just need to drill my hole, so let's set that down. Got some drill bits here. So I found my tap too also. It's a 0 0.8 thread pitch and uh five millimeter. So that's my tap. Just need to find a drill bit that's a little bit smaller than that. See what we can find here. Oh. I think I got it right here. So that's my tap. That's my drill bit. You want your drill bit to be a little bit smaller. It's a 532. But anyway, let's go ahead and drill that. Get the tapping tool here. Wonder if I should go a little bigger with that. I think I could. One size bigger with that. That's a 1164. Let's 
drill it just one little size bigger. That ain't too big. I think it is. Well, we'll see. So, get the tapping tool here. It just looks like that. Sticky tap in. Right in the slot there, you see. It's hot out here today. 80 degrees here in South Carolina. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Poor me, huh? So you get your tapping tool, put your tap in. Took me a while to get that going, but that was locked up for some reason. All right, and then this is just a little thin piece, so I'm not gonna have to worry about no oil and all that stuff. So just uh, try to get it straight. There we go. Let's get her going. Good thing I went to that bigger size drill bit because even with that one, it was a little tough getting it started. See, I got some threads there. Got some threads now. See if the screw fits. Uh, 
if I did everything right, the screw will fit. There's the screw again. Let's try it. If I did it wrong, it won't fit. So, let's see. Get some metal on the end of the screwdriver. This is a carburetor, so I don't want to get no foreign objects in the carburetor. But yeah, that's uh, working good. Perfect. There you go. And that's how you drill and tap a hole. Now I have to cut a little off that screw or it'll hit my float. But uh, other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching.